Hello. I'm going to pretend that I'm a woman named Wendy Wright. Now, you'll have to imagine me with a blonde wig that goes down to here, and that I'm a very special individual who believes in creation and most women's causes. So long as they, they go towards women's rights and things like that. Oh, I got a message. But anyways, stay tuned, because this interview with Richard Dawkins, I'm only, only going to show my reactions, okay? You have to excuse this tie. I'm not a lady, but I'm per impersonating one right now. Uh-huh. Well, I gotta say that I'm from Concerned Women for America. And there are some things that we stand for. And not only that, it's of course about women. Because all women are stupid. And we must all be creationists. Because that's the way of the Lord. I am concerned about evolution. Because it is infecting our society. And, you know, you gotta pretend I have a big blonde wig. And I do this all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? Really? That's a common theme throughout this video, so you'll have to excuse me. You'll have to suspend disbelief because I'm a man wearing a tie. But this woman is so stupid. So, Richard, you're saying that we should, um, just believe in evolution. Even though it's not true, it's never been proven. And, you know, I gotta say that evolution is not a fact. And evolutionists just stretch the facts. I believe we should educate the, the public on the controversy. Well, I believe in the Creator. Okay? And I gotta say this clearly because you're so slow that you would not understand these things, Mr. Richard Dawkins. Okay? Evolution is not a fact. And all evolutionists do is they stretch the facts. I believe we should educate the masses about the controversy that is evolution versus creationism. Because I'm right, and I have no evidence, really. I'm fiddling with my time. Anyway, cousins of chimps, hmm. I don't believe in evolution because there, because there is an evolution between, the, you know, there's microevolution between species, in between, within species, and there's no example of evolution that shows a change in species. And I've gone to the museums, and we all find all we find is drawings. And brilliant evolutionist religionists are stupid and ignore the fact that God created us separately from animals. DNA proves that we are all individuals created by God. You don't have ev evidence of species changing from one species to another? <laughs> No hidden agenda, but I hate ad hominem attacks. And I'm sorry, but evolutionists just have no confidence in their th theories. Evolutionists have hostilities because they can't prove the theory. God created each and every one of us, created each and every one of us, and each human is special and deserves respect. And anything that isn't evolution gets censored out because there's no evidence of evolution. Period. Seriously. Show me the evidence. Show me the bones, the carcass, and the interspecies fossils. Show me the carcass. Evolution bears the burden of proof. If they had the evidence, and Darwinists have a hidden agenda. And you know, racism equals Darwinism. Philosophy of Darwin is communist and don't have a respect for life. Sorry, back up. DNA shows that we are created. 
this aggressive effort against us, just frustrated. We're still frustrated. And evolution set evolutionists censor us with the majority view. <laughs> Evolution is a philosophy that Hitler followed because everyone knows evolution is a philosophy and not a scientific fact. Anyways, evolution is pushed on us. I've been to the museums and they rely on drawings and no actual real evidence. Show me the bones. Show me the carcass. Show me the interspecies fossils. You can't do it, can you? Anyways, why are you so aggressive towards us and what we believe? Why are you so against us and what we believe against what you believe? Prove to me that slime became an individual. I guess semen isn't slime. <laughs> I'm a retard. So, why is it so dangerous to think that we are created by a creator? Or, 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 creator, or, or. Teach the controversy and not the flaws that are in evolution. The world is created by God and the time frame is known or unknown, but I dodged the question. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> I'm going to giggle at you, Richard Dawkins, because <laughs> as if we came from slime. So many people have opinions about the hardcore variant in evolution. Bishops who accept evolution are stupid, and they don't represent the American women view of things and how they came about. Okay? So. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it is all a misinterpretation, and God the Father is involved. We have free will. Some good, some bad. But God is loving. Science unlocks the views that God created. Like gravity. <laughs> Many people believe that uses creation. Oops, back up on that. God intervenes to create a more stable world. No more dissension between our camps. Evolution res should respect our beliefs and the hostility towards us is like... <laughs> Open your eyes and look at the societies created by God and a deep respect from a loving God. Uh huh. <laughs> you made my case. Darwinism is extremely brutal. And society is based on a non loving creator. Tor. Teach the controversy and not the evolution. And kids should think for themselves. And sadly, the effort is to be against creationism. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Evidence should be evidence, even if, sadly, the effort is to be against creationism. Mm -hmm. Evidence should be evidence even if they think it's retarded. Picture me with a blonde wig, okay? Come on. Suspend disbelief. Come on, please. Science is taking a theory and the theories aren't true. A theory is just a theory. And the theory isn't for creationism. The theory is flawed. Mm-hmm. The theory is flawed. The evolutionary theory is flawed. 
and we should all abide by creationism. You know, we need stupid asses against this evolution theory. The high priests and DNA shows that we are all individuals and are distinct since we are all not alike and therefore creationism. It's very simple. Well, the evidence shows that there is no positive mutations in the human genome. You need to have a base, and that base is God. Hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, uh huh. You like my fake smile? I just got new teeth and a new wig. Oh, I'm so proud. God created us with genes and DNA to show his creation power. I think I know enough about Darwinism to know that God creates us all different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so why do you direct, you know, why do you reject a creator? Hmm? Haha. <laughs> oh, yes. I once was at a, a museum and it did, couldn't show the transitional forms. And did you know that handicapped people who can't talk? But this little girl I met was afflicted by a disease. But this disease. Did it cut her off from spiritual connection, connection to a loving God? Animals. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about animals now. And animals are stupid. But kids who are born retarded have a spirit. Okay? Do you have a problem with the God who got this whole process going? This whole process started? Do you believe in a spirit or a soul? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Win for me. Win for me. Do you believe that people have spirits or souls? Because I do. And for anyone who can't make decisions, do you think that they have a consciousness? Or are they just walnuts or almonds? Or water chestnuts without a soul? Hmm? I'm confused. But a person without a brain has no soul, hmm? This is key. Mm hmm People have souls. But she'd be cared for cared for in the name of Jesus. But animals don't have spirits, okay? That's the difference between people and animals. Because we all know that people aren't animals. Mm hmm My group, we represent 500,000 retards, etc., who will rise up against only evolution in the classroom. We reject evolution because there is no proof of God. <laughs> Oops. Evolution. Just show me the bone. I mean, bones. Yeah, um... <laughs> We are being punished for our beliefs and whatever threatens our political beliefs. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> the price of eternity, the price of our eternity, is out of vigilance. And you know nothing, Mr. Dawkins. Mr. Dawkins, you are stupid. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh. 
I was once sentenced to six months in jail for praying outside a Darwinian, Darwinian abortion clinic. And I was fined $500 in Houston and threatened with six months in jail. I couldn't believe that this judge was saying I'm a public nuisance. I mean, what the fuck? There were other people protesting. And all they were saying is that pro-choice is cool. And I couldn't understand that. Because I'm a religious bigot. And I'm a retard. Anyways, certain people are being punished for believing what retards like me believe. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> you know, we have argued to teach the controversy in evolution. What we mean is teach the evidence against evolution in favor of intelligent design, which is so apparently obvious to people like me. Why is evolution so much in favor instead of creation or intel I mean intelligent design creation and intelligent design aren't the same things you know it's the same theory basically but you know what I'm saying it's just a new name for an old-fashioned tale anyways I wish I had a blonde wig and all this shit but I'm just imitating Wendy Wright because she's correct and that's what her name means Right equals correct. Anyways, an intelligent being caused this design because it's obvious. <laughs> Facts are quite demeaning if you think about it. We read and studied evolution. It would be helpful if evolutionists knew that they weren't better than us creationist retards. I mean, um, people. Yeah, people. There should be evidence for my macroevolution, but there is none. There's just microevolution. And I know that 6,000 years is a long time for someone to, to um, hold evidence that isn't microevolution. Oh, sure, microevolution happened in 6,000 years. <laughs> but it's very demeaning to think that we don't know a thing about evolution. Scientists have the answer because evolution is just a philosophy. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's only a philosophy, and a philosophy is just a theory not and you know you call me a right winger but the right wing accusation is just an ad hominem to our conversation communism is based on Darwinism and it's responsible for much killing of innocent retards I mean people good people who are oops I misspoke um, atheists think people aren't created as distinct from one another. Therefore, evolutionists think that people are unneeded, unwanted. But I think that everyone born with a terrible defect is important. And hardcore evolutionists, hardcore evolutionists think they have a right to pave the way for brutal, non-Jesus societies. I mean, seriously. Well, it would be helpful to know about a non-Darwinian society and respect for all human beings, you know, if evolution was correct. Humans provide care. But it's not the state who delivers care because they believe in evolution. There is no need to distort the facts because 
We have the facts that prove our beliefs. Oh, look at my pretty hair. Oh, oh. Society takes a while to understand for scientists who worship Satan and are working for a one world government of retards. Okay. Evolution, evolution should have no problem with those who hold irrational beliefs like me. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. Isn't that nice? Teach the creation because evolution is so stupid. Allow the respect for people who know for a fact that God created everything. And there's no questioning and no science about that. But let me say, oops, there is a science. But those weak individual evolutionists, those intellectual evolutionists, have a, you know, a monopoly. But I know science. Those opposed to my retardation have no funding. I wonder why. Hmm. Ah. Teach the controversy in science classes. Because we all know that there's proof for creation. It's in the Bible. What do you have? You just have evolution. Which is just a man-made thing. Note, note, people. The Bible was made by man. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Slime to human beings. Slime turned into human beings. But there should be some evidence for that, don't you think? And you know what? I don't accept transitional fossils because there are none. There's no transitional fossils of an animal turning into another animal. It's just microevolution. And you know what? There's no such thing as macroevolution. Because that would take more than 6,000 years. Because I'm a retard. <laughs> but that's what's needed for you to convince us. You to convince me and my people. Because we don't accept anything that isn't God. And you call us ignorant because we reject actual scientific claims and all that shit. Oops, I said the poop word. Oh! Vast numbers in the USA believe in creationism. Therefore, it is correct. I win. <laughs> mm. Oops, I got caught in a smile there because I'm so condescending like a little bitch. What is your cause for... What is your cause in life? If it isn't God who created eternal life. You're just stupid people. And we all know that when we die, we go to a better place or a bad place. Because that's just the way it is and I can't see anything beyond that. So therefore, you must all believe that we don't die... We all go to a better place, okay? And thinking otherwise is just stupid. Mr. Dawkins, now let me get this straight. Your cause in life is to make sure that people like me believe in evolution. Like Mr. Dawkins. Mm -hmm. You have an education, therefore you are half a retard. You don't know what you're talking about because the Bible says what is true. And the Bible says that you're wrong. Therefore, I'm right. And I can make this whole argument, this whole hour argument. Yet, there is no evidence, sir, for evolution. The problem with you is that you take fossil claims that are believed by the masses. And therefore, I know evolution is wrong. Because there is no fossils that prove evolution. It's all animals in their singular form that never evolved, etc. God put Homo erectus on the ark. 
Yes. Oh, but he was just an ape, right? <laughs> Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, Mm hmm. Ah. 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 Yes. Mm, okay. Would it make you happy that the evidence makes you happy that the world is intelligently designed, but God did it? I don't care if you are the foremost scientist, the foremost biological, whatever that means, evolutionary biology scientist in the world. That is a danger. And most scientists are stupid. You have a religious agenda, and that religion is called evolution. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Mm. I'm a fake stupid bitch. Anyway, I won't open up my mind because I'm a dim-witted person who is seeking evidence for creation. And God wanted us to exist outside animals because we are not animals. We are not animals. And I believe that a moral person should know that Society needs God, and blah, 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 etc., etc. You don't even need to read your Bible, because to be a Christian and a creationist, you don't need to read anything. That's the beauty of creation and intelligent design. You don't need to believe anything. You just have to believe. You have to believe without proof, and that's totally fine with you guys. Uh, I mean, um, what am I saying? Society needs God, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God, what have I done? Oh, screw your cause of evidence and believe my non-proven God, knowing we are successful, and uh, Charles Darwin is a retard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you shown me the bones? The bone, I mean, I mean the bones. And the carcass. Can you show me a, fr a fresh carcass that belonged thousands of years ago, maybe even? Well, there's only thousands of years because the Earth hasn't been here for millions of years at all. Maybe not even billions. It's been here for 6,000 years. And I have denied the question up and down. But only religion makes the world a better place. Okay? And that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Ah. And this is a message to Wendy Wright. I'm sure you're not going to be watching this because you're humiliated by the Richard Dawkins interview. I'm wearing this shirt and tie because I'm trying to be respectful. I'm trying to be respectful. You, lady, are a moron. And if anyone wants to watch the video with Richard Dawkins and Wendy Wright, just type in Richard Dawkins debates Wendy Wright and you'll get the interview. This entire exercise was just a mockery of this stupid bitch who doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. And uh, I'm not saying I know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying I think I know where the facts go. But I'm a retard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.